Coming over here to spaceweather.com, scroll down and look at the new updated NEO list. That would be Near Earth Objects. Scroll down to March 16th. You can see we've got one coming in between the Earth and the Moon system at 0.7 LD, but it's a mere 22 meters. I mean, that's just a little over 60 feet wide, moving at 12 kilometers per second. That's around 25, 26,000 miles per hour. Scroll down to March 21st on the equinox. We've got a large one coming in. That's the one I showed you right here. 3,350 feet wide. That equates to 1,024 meters. I mean, this thing is huge. This thing is moving at a whopping 34.4 kilometers per second. That is over 76 thousand miles per hour that is over five times as fast as some of the asteroids you see on this list that are considered NEOs this thing is not going to impact the earth but you can see over here at the NASA JPL here are the coordinates of that very large asteroid that again is over a thousand meters 3,350 feet wide. Right here is the path of this very large asteroid that's going to intersect the orbit of Earth. At its close approach on March 21st, the equinox, it will be 5.3 LD, close enough to make it to the list of near-Earth objects. Once again, this thing is moving freakishly fast at 76,000 miles per hour, over 1,000 meters wide, 3,350 50 feet. That is a huge asteroid. That is one of the largest I've seen on here in quite some time. And once again, if you have a decent backyard telescope and you know exactly where to look, you can probably spot this thing zipping past the planet on March 21st of 20...